Hi everyone, in this tutorial I want to show you how to make custom menus for your WordPress blog or website. So we have here a demo blog that I made in a previous tutorial and it has a menu right here above the image slider but there's really nothing custom about it. It doesn't even have a home page button in it and it includes this sample page which is not something I would ever want to show my audience and this menu really just doesn't help very much at all and in fact it is just a bunch of page tabs that WordPress has put here sort of guessing what someone might want to visit based on what we've created so what we're gonna do is customize this menu with a bunch of other tabs and categories and make it look pretty and then also learn how to make a drop down menu. So let's get to it and let's create our custom menu. We can go to the dashboard and then we can go down to appearance and menus. So one thing people don't often realize and I know I didn't about WordPress is that you have to make menus on your own. So it sometimes looks like menus are just creating themselves but you are really supposed to make them in this menus tab and that'll give you more control of how they look and how things are ordered and uh, it just makes a lot of sense once once you know how to do it it's that sort of thing so I'll show you how right now alright so there's a few tabs in here four of them that WordPress is sort of guessing we might want in our custom menu and I'm gonna use some and not use others but for starters why don't we just click create a new menu now I'll give the menu a name and I'm just gonna call it um, above slider alright I like having a location as the name that way if, uh, if I have multiple menus then I can easily tell which one I'm editing alright that's good stuff now we've got to add some tabs to actually compose our menu, our custom menu. And I'm going to take our contact page and our about page because I think people would like to visit those and then we can click add to menu. Okay, two tabs have come in. That's pretty cool. And I want more. I want people to click on more things. And I want to choose categories. So basically different categories and different topics people can find around this this demo blog and I want all of them actually and I'm just gonna click select all and then add each one of these categories of content on this demo blog like winter wonderland and exotic foods and all of them I'm just gonna click add all of them add to menu once we've done that we now have about eight tabs which is cool and it looks like uncategorized got in here so that was kinda of my mistake and I'm just gonna open it up and remove it because I don't want that one alright now that we have seven I am gonna do a little reordering alright I usually like having about at the end so you'll see where this goes on the blog itself but I'm just gonna put that one at the end and then this looks pretty good. I'm actually going to put contact down here too, uh, right there. And then we are looking better. So we can save the menu just in case you're worried it's going to get erased. All right, so our menu is saved. I also want to add a home button so someone can click click back home. So to do that, we need a link. All right, and then we need to insert our blog URL which in this case is this set of letters naragai.com and then to create a home link tab you just put in that link and then type in home and then click add to menu home usually goes right at the start so I'll drag it up there so you can see that we now have a menu comprised of pages categories and links which is pretty awesome three different types of tabs and they'll all look very much the same on the blog 
All right, that's cool. So I'm going to save the menu again. And then I'm going to go ahead and check out the blog. And weirdly enough, after all that work, all that hard work we just put in, nothing changed. So why is that? Why would WordPress do such a thing to us after we set up a beautiful menu? It's like it doesn't want us to be able to change our website. But that's not the case. There's always a way to fix it in WordPress or to accomplish what we want. And it's usually because we forgot one step. So we forgot to add the menu to a location in menu settings. All right, so you always have to do this part and we want our menu as primary menu. You might have multiple locations, but make sure to choose one and then save it again. Now, when we refresh, we can see our custom menu populates perfectly right above our image slider exactly where we want and that's really cool. We can click the tabs and we can see that a tab like this brings up the category we want and a page tab brings up our contact page which doesn't have anything special on it but it certainly could on your blog and so on and so forth. Now I'm actually going to go back to our menu creator in appearance menus and I think there's something wrong with our home link. All right. So one thing to make sure of is that when you create a link for your menu, make sure the structure is set up properly. So that looks a lot better. Cool. So how do we set up a drop down menu? How do we make it so when you hover over one of these items, more menu tabs come below it? you know, drop down right below it, like a drop down menu you'd see on another site. To do that in the menu creator, just go ahead and take a couple tabs and indent them under the parent tab that you want to be their parent. You can do that with as many as you want. And then click save and you'll see the changes right away. So with those menu tabs indented, we can refresh the site and the tabs that have become drop down the drop down tabs they won't actually show up because they'll be hidden underneath the parent tabs like such so just by doing that we have easily created a custom menu and drop down menus within our custom menu I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial if you have any questions on creating menus or any other part of your blog please post a comment here and I'll help out if you can, please subscribe to the channel, and I want to say thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.